Hey guys, welcome to our exclusive interview with Owen Murphy, aka The Fridge. You've asked some questions, let's hear and get some answers. So Owen, has your strength training transferred over much to your everyday life? No. Well, there you have it. So Joanne asks, how does Owen Murphy put up with Clarence and David an David's antics? How do you do it, Owen? Uh, six times of acid before I come to the gym. Okay. So Owen, the most asked question is, are you vegan? No, I'm definitely not vegan. Are you going to become vegan? Never. Why? Um, I'm trying my best to kill a deer at the moment. Thomas Tangai asks, what was the biggest challenge or adversity when you were pushing your squat to get that 300 kilos, even though it's not there yet, but um, during? Probably standing up at 300 kilos is, was probably the hardest bit. If you could meet any Olympic weightlifter, living or dead, who would it be? There's a female weightlifter called David Nolan in... Yeah, I've heard of her. Him, her. weightlifting club in Tralee. It's pretty good. I think he weighs like... Or she, she, she weighs 60 kilos. Free. She can like... I think... Last time I asked her her best lift, she said something like... Her best power clean was... From a 6 inch deficit was 120. So she reckons she can snatch like 110 after that or something. So the next question. So can I ask any question here and you'll answer it in the video? No. Okay. Is it true you had a midnight wank when I was in the bed beside you in Germany? Categorically, I did not. Cate categorically? Categorically, I did not. I mean, I know he says midnight, but like yeah. midnight plus one, was it like two minutes to... Uh, when did, was it? I did not have a wank. So, Jonathan asks, what are his best training competition numbers? When will we see the 300 kg squat? And what is his best front squat and pull? Best snatch is 140 for one. Uh, that was 145. 145, sorry, 145. I've done 140 without straps. Done 140 for a double. Best power snatch is 125 for singles. Best clean jerk is 185. Uh, best front squat is 231. Best back squat is 290. Best deadlift with a hook grip is 280. And my best bench is 100 kilos. When are you going to squat 300 kilos? Hopefully in the next three months. Tom Martin asks, if Clarence had to choose between running D-ball only cycles for the rest of his life and being natty, what would he use for liver support? Well, Tom Martin, I think he'd use coconut milk. Ten, well, like... 10 cc's of coconut milk every day. I wouldn't take Clarence's advice. Why not? He's my favorite natty vegan body <laughs> <of that>. <laughs> <laughs> So next question from Garvin. If you could change only one thing about yourself or the world, what color hair would you change it to? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'd say red hair, 100%. Uh, Keen asked, how are you finding the shift in focus back to the Ollie lifts? What? Did you just say Oli? Yeah, what? Did he just write Oli? I think he means weightlifting, but... Uh, Who? How are you finding the shift focus back to Oli lifts? Ol Oli... It Oil lifts? Oil lifts. Um, oil? Oil. Well, okay, let's, let's just, I, let's I just skip that. So, next question. What is the size of his dick? <laughs> <laughs> um, no count. I mean, it's pretty objective. It's, it, what size is it? <laughs> like in the morning? Or? <laughs> <laughs> I'm confused. What does that mean? Were you also a self-taught lifter? If so, how did you get into the sport? Um, I actually had a coach for the first two years called Carl Bird. Um, probably the most accomplished Irish weightlifter. Uh, there was this guy called Clarence Kennedy, but did he test positive or something? I'm not sure. He hasn't competed in a while though. But the uh, well, last few years I've been pretty much self coached. Um, everyone's still looking for that guy, Clarence Kennedy, but I just don't know. No one knows where he is anymore. How did you meet Clarence Kennedy? Um, so I started in UL and everyone was talking about this like really skinny kid squatting weights for like lots of reps and I just came into the gym one day and he wasn't there so I came into the gym another day and he still wasn't there and then finally several weeks later I saw him and he just started trying to sell me DECA <laughs> uh, I didn't buy it at the time but <laughs> He said you'll become the best nanny vegan ever if you take this. So he was eating like a fish finger at the time though, so I'm not really sure what was going on. It was pretty confusing, but I think we've been friends since. John O'Keefe asks, any tips on breaking sticking point midway on a squat? 
Uh, probably for weightlifting, you don't really need to do much for that. I think if you just do like enough squats and you eventually get stronger. Maybe for powerlifting. He lifting. looks like a powerlifter. He looks like a powerlifter. I mean, he's deadlifting, I think, in his. Uh, I probably wouldn't do anything much different. Like sticking points aren't really a thing. You're just probably not strong enough to make the lift in general. So, the answer would be be stronger. Yeah, I'd probably be stronger, and I don't mean that in a, a stupid way either. Kind of so I guess you would wanted you to say like box squats or like oh, pause squats or anything um, like that. Would you say pause squats are pretty? If you good? want to avoid the issue, you can do like pause squats and stuff, or like squat halfway, squat to your sticking point, and just stop above it. But have you done this before? Because this no, would be pretty much pointless for you to no, recommend. No, it's pointless to do those things. Um, I think sticking points are. I'd probably just get stronger. Would probably be the easiest thing. Sticking points aren't really a thing. I don't think. Like if you look at most weightlifters, they'll miss everything above parallel, but that's just because that's the way high bar squats seem to end up. But like if the low bar squat, so just get stronger would be the simplest answer. And if you want to waste your time, yeah, do like pause squats just above your sticking point or just below your sticking point. It's you just the like hardest part of the lift. You just have to get better. At it. Band assisted safety bar squats. <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> um, maybe do like depth to deadlifts to help your squat or something. So oh, next question: What's Owen's favorite anime? I have actually never watched the anime, except for, what's that really famous one? Like Pokemon? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, actually I did like Pokemon, but there's, it's like Moonlight or Moon or something. What? It's really, really famous. Moonlight? Really, really, really famous anime. Sailor Moon? Maybe, I think that's the one I watched. <laughs> something I think I might have watched that. <laughs> Once, ever, Oops. maybe. What is the size of his biceps? Um, when I was two years old and I was squatting 400 kilos, it was like 18 inches. So, yep. let me ask my own question. Um, yep. Before there was footage of you lifting in, I don't know, where cows live. <laughs> what type of setup was that? Like, why uh, did you lift there? I lifted there out of necessity. Uh, it wasn't really like Rocky style, kind of I'm going to win the title alone, train alone stuff. It was because I had nowhere else to train. So I just trained in my shed, Wadi York Bar, and just trained away. Did a lot of PVs there. Some say a lot of suspicious activity went on in that shed. Yeah, Clarence kept coming out of nowhere and trying to sell me deck again, but I kept saying no. Yeah. Imagine you're a vegan who does CrossFit. Yeah. What would you tell people first? Um, they'd probably know I was vegan, be a nag to CrossFit, because I'd be like, probably have lost about 40 kilo body weight. And I'd probably have a t-shirt that says vegan and CrossFit on it. Maybe okay. a tattoo as well. Let's, let's get this straight. A vegan CrossFit tattoo? There's two vegans behind the camera. Yeah. How many of them are wearing vegan t-shirts? Uh, what's underneath your t-shirt there, dude? Does Owen do no fat? What is no fat? It's like when you don't fat, like before competition, to give, build up your aggression. It boosts testosterone. Does it really? Supposedly. Okay, next question. Saw that Owen went to a training camp in Germany some time ago. What did they talk of his technique and did they give him any advice? Um, the kind of things I already knew about, but like, like looping around my knee in the pull, uh, coming to my toes too early. How did they find it out? Just by watching you? Or? Yeah, just by watching. Did yeah. you do video analysis? Yeah, they had video analysis. It was pretty interesting to see that. Um, they did it in Clarence. Do you uh, know what software they used? I actually don't. I, did you fix it while you were over there? I didn't, no. Are you we, trying to fix it, or does it matter? Um, I was trying to fix it, but now I'm just training like a retard. What about programming? Um, how I program for myself wouldn't be how I program for anyone else ever. Because it's retarded. You, you do retarded training? Pretty much. Not as retarded as you. When you were over in Germany or just full stop? Oh, just full stop, pretty much. So it's not retarded, it's pretty much stick to the lift. The loading would be retarded. Are you retarded? <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't be. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I don't know, I think like watching David train lately has influenced me. And not for the better. Who's David? Uh, he's that female weightlifter from Stax. Uh, your thoughts on fapping before working out? Um, I'm not sure why this keeps coming up, but I think just do whatever <laughs> makes you feel comfortable and whatever expresses the truest inner you. Mm -hmm. What is the optimum mm -hmm. temperature for my fridge? Uh, I think 3 degrees is what most fridges should be at. No more than 3 degrees, in Do you do to build explosivity yeah. in the Olympic movements? Um, Good genetics is probably the most important thing. So like, basically you're saying get new parents? Basically you get new parents. You hear that? Get new parents. It's probably like a limit on the amount of explosives you have based on your genetics. 
How many days per week does he lift? How long does each training session last? Uh, probably about five days a week, most weeks. And uh, most sessions will probably take about two hours, two, two and a half hours. Maybe at least two and a half hours from when I walk into the gym and when I finish. How much was he lifting in the clean and jerk, front squat and snatch after his first year of lifting? I think after the f first year lifting, I could snatch maybe 105 kilos. I remember like you weren't really strong to start out. No. Like, your technique was good, but like you lacked a lot of strength. Yeah, like I could snatch 105 and uh, clean jerk maybe 120 after my first year when I was, would have been nearly, I think it would have been 18 at that stage. Uh, front squat, maybe like 140 or 145. Uh, after second year, I think it's snatch. That was actually the next question. <laughs> Uh, 115 kilo snatch, as a, still as an 85. Uh, clean jerk was like 125 or 130 maybe. And uh, what is your height and weight? I am 5'8 and I am obese. <laughs>